morning, this is Ken Walker in the Academic Resource Center. For today's ARC Academic Tip of the Day, I want to talk a little bit about cultivating the aha moment. The aha moment is that moment in our, in our, in our lives, in our daily activities, when we have opened up our mind to allow for some spontaneous thinking or solve, solving, uh, problem solving or uh, epiphanies that may come to the may come to us. Uh, I'm looking at uh, college-wide outcomes for St. Anselm College and one of the outcomes is creative and, creative and imaginative thinking and it says goals and objectives and this can be found on the website. Critical and imaginative, th and imaginative thinking is that mode of thinking about any subject, content, or problem in which the thinker improves the quality of his or her thinking by skillfully analyzing, assessing, and reconstructing it. Further down, it says the students who have completed their studies at St. Anselm College should be able to, and one of the one of the bullet points is demonstrate a capacity for creative problem solving. And how do we how do we achieve that? How do we learn that? Well, there are courses that are going to teach you about um, creative problem solving. But I also believe that in the in, in our busy lives as students and as employees of the college. We actually have to create moments in which we can pause and reflect, create quiet times in our lives so that we can actually have that aha moment or experience that epiphany. Uh, as Walt Whitman says in Crossing Brooklyn Ferry, he says, just as you feel when you look on the river and sky, so I felt. Just as any of you is one of a living crowd, I was one of a crowd. Just as you are refreshed by the gladness of the river and bright flow, I was refreshed. Just as you stand and lean on the rail, yet hurry with the swift current, I, I stood yet was hurried. Just as you look on the numberless mass of ships and the thick-stemmed pipes of steamboats, I looked. There was some research that was done at Drexel University and uh, Northwestern University in which researchers used MRI technology and EEG technology, or EEG sensors, to to document the neural activity of volunteers who were working to solve word problems. And interestingly, these, these researchers, uh, quote, found a distinctive spark of high gamma activity that would spike one third of a second before volunteers consciously arrived at an answer. Additionally, the flash of gamma waves stemmed from the brain's right hemisphere, an area involved in handling associations and assembling parts of a problem. This is from an article um, from a website called Mind Crowd, and, and the article is written by Lauren Migliore called The Aha Moment, The Creative Science Behind Inspiration. In addition to noticing this, this uh, spike uh, of high gamma activity, uh, while uh, having that, experiencing that ha aha moment, the researchers also noticed that just prior to that spike of high gamma activity, there was a burst of slower alpha band activity over the right visual cortex, an area of the brain that controls our sight, occurring immediately prior to the burst of gamma waves. This unexpected finding suggests that the brain is quieting the neurons in that area to reduce the amount of distraction and visual interference taken in. Similarly to everyday circumstances, the way we close our eyes and look around when concentrating on a question which then allows insight to pop into awareness. And I think that's the point that I'm trying to get to with this academic tip. In order for these creative moments or uh, moments of creativity, um, epiphany, I think it's important for us to, to actually uh, to cultivate uh, the quiet times in our lives. We have to, in a very busy lifestyle here at the college, we have to find locations where we can go and just sit and think. But we have to find quiet spaces where we can ponder on our, our essays that we're writing or problems that we're trying to solve in our courses. Take advantage of the, of the setting here at St. Anselm College where we have many locations where you can wander alone and be in a quiet space, as well as some of the buildings that we have that give you uh, quiet areas to work. Turn off some of the social media. Turn off the video games. Put down that paper. Put down that draft for a while and walk about and think about what you're working on. Walt Whitman later in the poem says, I too felt the curious abrupt questionings stir within me. In the day among crowds of people, sometimes they came upon me. In my walks home late at night, or as I lay 
in my bed. They came upon me. These questions that, that um, uh, came to him in those quiet moments. So that's the tip of the day. I want you to take, uh, take advantage of what we have here at St. Anson College and the surrounding community and find uh, moments in which you can c cultivate that aha moment. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon for the academic tip of the day.